Right. Now, this has some importance for the armed forces. Yes. Uh, what has happened is, my lord, there was an application for qualifications which was filed on behalf of the Union of India, uh, pursuant to my lord the judgment in Joseph Shine. Joseph Shine, as your lordships know, strikes down adultery, and broadly, my lords, uh, the grounds were that this was. Uh, well, the, essentially the patriarchal uh, uh, aspect of that provision, which treated women as chattel. Now, my Lord, be that as it may, we are not directly concerned with Joseph Shine because that was decided on a different. Uh, my Lord, we are really concerned with what amounts to discipline or indiscipline in the army or the armed forces generally, and what is unbecoming conduct because we have our own. My Lord, the armed forces would have their own code of conduct. And therefore, my lords, if what has happened, let me just indicate as to what was occasioned this. Signing it in the form of a clarification. It, my lord, what happened was this was a clarification because what happened was this, my lords. There were certain, uh, there were uh, uh, officers who were charged for unbecoming conduct on the ground that while, while, uh, uh, my lords, uh, that, that they were having uh, uh, illicit Stealing relationship. the affection or something, the expression you did. My lord, illicit relationship, my lord, you may call it an extramarital affair or whatever, my lord, There's unbecoming a... conduct. We call it unbecoming conduct or, my lord, uh, indiscipline. So what amounts to that? Now, where, why, when, my lord, the officer, an officer is serving out there in the field, and his family is stationed in the my lord, family accommodation away from the field. And another officer, my lord, enters into, a, it may be consensual in nature. But what, therefore, my lord, can we not take action? What has happened is that the AFT took a view uh, in, in some cases that it must be quashed because uh, now because of Joseph Shank. So, my lord, this would certainly create some instability within our ranks because, my lord, ultimately we have to be able to, uh, uh, my lord, inspire confidence in the officer who goes to serve in the field. And, my lord, you're saying that they can be charged for misconduct, misconduct, indiscipline, unbecoming conduct, and, my lord, because adultery has very different patriarchal, my lord, connotations under 497. Now, here under this, my lords, our action, we can even take an, against a female officer. There is nothing unequal or it's completely gender neutral. But the, the, so this is the issue, my lords, and therefore, my lords, this has been put before a constitution. So which part of the judgment yes. of Joseph Shines uh, actually creates a problem for you? My lord, simply because what has happened. What is it that you are seeking to clarify? My lord, we are seeking to clarify that the Joseph Schein judgment striking down section 497 will not come in the way of the armed forces taking action for uh, under certain provisions, my lord, under our uh, respective acts, including the Army Act. Does it preclude you from doing it? Does the judgment lord, What has say, happened is the AFT has taken such a view. But then should you not independently challenge that? I mean, instead of no, we have, clarification. We have challenged it, but my lord, it, it, it requires some, because my lord, they are using the, the constitution bench judgment in Joseph Shin. Say The constitution bench is either right or wrong. Right. If it is wrong, you have, you have a remedy of a review. No, my lord, we are not saying it is wrong because it said nothing so, in, in respect so, of the army. That's right, exactly. Therefore, if you say it is wrong in individual cases, if you have challenged it, we have. You have challenged it. We have, but okay. the question has been left open. What has happened in one of those judgments? We so have. We can always pursue that, saying that Joseph Chain cannot stand in the way of your, uh, I mean, taking action uh, against somebody who is. My lord, this has specifically been referred so to a constitution bill. It, it is it said the criminality about adultery. Right, right. Has been done away with. Right, right. So that doesn't mean that you know, the conduct is that, 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 that does not mean that the conduct can cannot be treated as misconduct. Okay? Absolutely, which is what we are saying. Correct, correct. Is there, is there any taboo against that? Because under section six, 63 and 645, you are not We are relying on that. In fact, we had charged one of these officers under 45, and the AFT took a view, and this is coming up in multiple cases. Yes. Any kind of a misconduct defined. Yes. It has to be examined independently. That's exactly what we are saying, my lord. How is this judgment will come in your way in taking our decision? Lord, it, this is what the unfortunately the AFT has been doing. That you yes. challenge like this? Lord, we have challenged. One of those decisions, my lord, the, the court, this court, yes. 
lying on the jury. This was your opinion. Because, because there he had been acquitted. So that was taken care of. But as far as the question on section 63 is concerned, Malod, the issue was left open. So Malod, what has happened is that the, uh, the, this has been referred to your lordships because Joseph Shine is a constitution bench judgment. So three judge bench has referred to so, my lord, we just decide the issue whenever convenient, it won't take very long. Just one minute. Yes. Immoral error. Any immoral error. We, we don't use a. It's not a criminality. Yes, it may not be a criminality. Exactly. May I suggest? Exactly the issue, my lord. Should we, they be treated as a criminal or such a simple misconduct? That is the only issue, my lord. Yes, Lordship has taken away the criminality part from the penalty provision, my lord. That's correct. But they are still treating them as a criminal, my lord. That is only concern. No, no. That is the whole point. If it is a mistake, yeah, man may not be. Uh, it might be slightly different. Say that you may not. You should not be punished because yes. you are the woman cannot be treated as a chattel. Yes, and you are dragged to the court and yes. things like that. Okay. You know that in the uniform services, yes, where discipline is of the paramount importance. Yes. Aberrant conduct, at least as it is understood yes. to be. Yes. Conduct which, you know, involves actually shaking up the the like, life of the, uh, the, the officers. Yes. Because everybody is ultimately dependent on family as a unit for society. And the, the, the integrity of the family is primarily based on the faithfulness that each spouse expects of the other. So if this is going to shake up, you know, discipline, the life, the even tone of somebody's life, and the armed forces must have, you know, some kind of, they should have some kind of assurance that they take action. How can you cite uh, Joseph Shane and say that, you know, it cannot be? May I submit, Pillars? I am appearing for one, one it's, it's, not, it's, it's not exactly desirable context. See, yes. see when you say that it, is, it should not be treated as criminality, I mean, not a criminal offence. The court is actually in this particular case is actually taken a value uh, judgment of its own, substituted with that for that the legislature with reference to fundamental rights and said it is violated of fundamental rights. Okay, that's fine. Yes. But the employer states, so you take a case of a private employer. Now forget about the state. Supposing the private employer has his own view, uh, he says that you know, we will not permit this, and this we treat this as misconduct. Treating it as an item of misconduct, action is taken. Can you produce uh, Joseph Shane and say, no, 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 you can't? Not, not at, at all. all. Not sure. at all. If you can, 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 can a private employer can, can, can be permitted to do that. Then why not stay? Malaz, may I just make one? Can I, make, one Malaz, I was appearing for Joseph Shane. But shall I make a very short submission but in answer to your Lordship's query? Yes. I was for the petitioner in Joseph Shine. And we know that. I am, I am just making a very short answer to that. As your Lordships were observing, there is nothing for a clarification at any rate. What I am respectfully placing, Lord, as your Lordships were observing, but in Joseph Shine, we did not, we only Lord, challenged the constitutionality of 497 of the IPC and 198.2 of the Criminal Procedure Code. These three sections, or this half a dozen sections were in the Army Act, in the Navy Act, and in the Air Force Act, were not the subject matter of Joseph Child. So what essentially happens is, but when the, it is something the respondent center cannot have a case which the petitioner in Joseph Shane did not have. We cannot now expand the scope of the repetition in a clarification application. That's what I am respectfully pointing out, Milord, as your lordships were observing. Now, Milord, as your lordships were saying, if at all in a particular case, Milord, the uh, a defense in the light of Joseph Shine was taken, but it is then for the center or for the authority to prosecute, to pursue that particular case. But one case, one case, you know, in, in the United States Court of Appeal, Press versus Paris versus State of Roseville, but once a case where a departmental action was taken for you know, the, allergy, uh, the for the alleged bad conduct, then you know, the United States Court of Appeal decided in Paris versus State of Roseville, but one will have to find out the nexus between 
the alleged act and his official duty. Likewise, but in the in our country also, unless the handle melody is agitated in a particular given case, you know, this cannot be decided now. But the repeat, the Joseph Chain decided only 498, and the Lord may also appreciate one fact. Neither no, no, no. these sections. No, no, you, you take a, a case where there is an enumerated uh, it's an item uh, entering into an illicit relationship with somebody else. Yes. As a living relationship with another man's wife yes. amounts to misconduct. Yes. Correct. Can yes. you yes. Joseph Chain and say, no, no, it cannot be. That's what I am also saying. Joseph Stein did not decide that. That's exactly what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. May I just make one suggestion? Joseph Stein did not decide that. It is beyond the scope of Joseph Stein. It is a simple question. May I just make one submission? Yes, yes. Section 45 and 63 of the Army Act are very clear. If at all any uh, person subject to the Army, Navy or Air Force Act commits, uh, behaves in any manner which is unbecoming of his conduct as an army officer or navy officer, air force officer, he is likely to be, he, he is absolutely liable to be uh, punished for misconduct under the 45 and 63. 63 says any officer or any member of the armed forces subject to this act, if at all behaves in a manner prejudicial to army discipline. Probably this officer, malicious officer, but people is concerned about. My lords. Some of the observations in do the chain. My lords. We perhaps sense to sort of give the impression My Lord. that you will be intruding into the liberty and the freedom of the individual. But see, it's a choice. My Lord. The freedom appears to be to have an illicit relationship. Very well. You Let's cannot go there. To that, My Lord. To that, My Lord. I mean, that cannot, uh, cannot, uh, May I just say this, My Lord? Yeah. One more, one more to thing. To this, one, yes. can I oh, you, now in this, suppose is for this sanction. Of course, in the light of the decision, he cannot be penalized. Yes, no, but at the same time, the question is whether he can be subjected to disciplinary proceedings. Very, it, 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 in it, terms of the that, 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 that is what we are, we are trying to answer. But I say, man, as your lordship, Devi Kumar was observing. But what I would respectfully answer to that, Lord, may really appreciate. But you none of these sections, yes. none of these sections. He cannot be what? he cannot be penalized under the provisions of the IPC. That is but but certainly under the provisions of the Army Act, he can be penalized. That is yes. that goes without and saying. That's what I am also saying. But yes, what I, I am Madam, I would request you to just wait a minute, please. Just a minute. Well, Lord, what we are saying is that because there is such a large number of cases which are coming up before the AFT, AFT has taken a view. Now, my Lord, if we keep uh, 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 appealing in individual cases, which of course we have to do. In the meantime, my Lord, there are so many disciplinary actions which are being stalled. And it is very dispiriting, my Lord, from, for the officer who is serving in the field. So, to, my Lord, that kind of confidence we have to give our officers. Where the solution is, yes. in one case. Yes. The matter is decided in one of those cases where the parties also heard and this court, if you are going to have a final decision, this court is like I think, my lord, we are requesting this court because it but has already been recorded. Like we, we think but that. My lord, for once and for all, it will take care of the problem. It won't take very long and your lordships may have to go and... In one of those matters where, you know, you are opening an order again. Right, right. You can challenge it, right? You know, that particular decision with the person also on the party array. So he will have to say, I don't know whether he's here in your clarification. No, no, he's, he's not, not here. So we are invited Milod, to make a clarification in the absence of a person who is going to be affected. No, Milod, may, may I put it this way? Milod, we, we can certainly implead those parties. No, I'm I'm just suggesting this, my lords, because ultimately, my lords, it requires clarification and this court. Hey, how, how are you here? How are you here? You are here because there is an AFT order. Right. Which takes a view that the employee who, whom you have charged, I mean, uh, charged with responding is protected by Joseph Shen. We think if that's your problem. Yes. Still. Yes. So that, that order can be independently challenged. Which is why we began by say, uh, saying whether right. you say that Joseph Shen is in any way wrong. You say you have no quarrel with Joseph Shen. You say Joseph Shain is fine. No, not because that is the way we are reading Joseph Shain. Right, which exactly. is, yes, that is the way we are reading what, Joseph Shain. Once you accept that Joseph Shain is uh, right. right, this clarification business, I think, should not be sorted to. No, it's better that you know you carry the matter. 
You will have a final Please discussion. Please consider. The other person also on the party area. You will have a discussion. No, just give me a minute. Let me just confirm. Let me better. Then can I? Can I just make one suggestion? Instead of tinkering with Joseph Schein, what my lord said is absolutely, absolutely the correct way of going going about it. Because the person involved in us, say uh, one of my clients, in fact, has suffered three months rigorous imprisonment for uh, allegedly having an extramarital affair with somebody else, some unmarried woman. However, my lord, it doesn't fall under the, uh, the ingredients at all of Joseph Schein or adultery. But what happens is Joseph Schein by itself, my lord, has secured. In, in, in dignity and equality to women, not making them subservient, subservient to the uh, to the to husband or his consent or, 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 or on that footing. However, Melos, to say that what they are trying to make out probably is that culling out or classifying army wives, what the, the submission in the content, in the application is quite shocking. They say that army wives are living separately. In a distance, uh, in separated family quarters, and their husbands, the officers are at the border. So the husbands should not have insecurity in their minds that their families are dealing with undesirable uh, actions. Well, look, this is an affront to an to any army wife. In fact, me being one, no, it's, it's not applicable to army wives. So. Absolutely, yes. and that the content. I may also point out. out. I, may, I may also point out a lot more explicitly, but a review so petition. Was, 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 let you make the submission. Well, because if, if my lord just reads the contents of this application, they are actually the the prayer may be why, very. Why do you say it's an affront to the Because they why? just read one paragraph, my lord. You can uh, tell us in your own words. Don't yes, sir. What they say is to ensure that all personnel perform their duties without unnecessary concern for their families. There is a system where frequent visits to families living away from their spouses by officers, GCOs, is a regular feature in view of the aforesaid judgment. There will be always a concern in the minds of the army personnel who are operating far away from their families under challenging conditions about the family indulging in untoward activity. Well, is this paragraph and also some. See, some... it's only concerned with the army officer involved. Right. So, if the concerned lady or a male Absolutely. is having a relationship uh, with a person who is not an army personnel. That's right, Malos. That is not prohibited. Absolutely. So what happens is, where do they draw the line? If an army wife... An officer gives a complaint. Just your question, please. Why do the officer gives a complaint that he's having an affair with somebody? Or the, um, no, no, you're talking about the adultery being committed by the, 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 the wife, isn't it? Yes. Why to the officer? In, in, in this particular case, yes, that yes. we are talking about, yes, we are talking with another officer. With another, another officer. officer. Yes, in but, this case. No, in the event, the Lady is the officer, and uh, both both it's gender neutral. Our action will be absolutely gender neutral absolutely. in that sense. But in so, my lords, I just want to say that please do consider because your lordships are taking up these matters because this may what what has happened is and that's why my lord the three judge went referred it to the constitution bench so what because is, is there anything in the judgment right which stands in the way of your you know uh, treating this right. kind of conduct yes. uh, as misconduct. Is there anything in the judgment which precludes you from taking that? Lord, because Lord, the, the, For example, supposing the judgment says in some part yes. that it's perfectly all right for a married woman uh, to have an affair, perfectly all right, then it can't be misconduct. 
Well, not very frankly, well, not because our list came very, very late at night and I was informed in the morning. I have not had the chance to comb through Joseph Shah <laughs> in such detail. Why did you do that? So, I mean, yes, that oh. yes. Nothing is stated, Milord, in the clarification application either. No, so Milord, the what what has happened one, is one point that I made has advisedly, Milord, put this. Why don't you? Why don't you then go? I mean, go through the detail. Yes, I'll go through it and in more detail. If there is anything, one point I may make. One point I may make. You know, none no, of no, these sections. There's no need to, no need to uh, spend more time on. Give a date. Yes. That's all. Yes, I think fair enough. Fair enough. And you know, we have told you our view. I, I, I nothing in the judgment which stands in the way. You will be advised to withdraw the application and then and go we'll, directly and go and you know challenge those individual orders where you have a problem. Right. If we will definitely reserve the liberty. You, you have that right. So, that. your lordship may keep it on another date. I'll get back uh, your, to your lordships on this because we do not also want a situation where, my lord, before this court, it comes up before a smaller bench, which it will, and uh, uh, my lord, that bench would be That's then right. by right. five judges. Yes. Vadi, one thing more. Yes. Any immoral conduct yes. of an officer in his official duties, or as an He would have uh, read this, uh, had those orders. But to the best of my knowledge, Miller, there is no such matter. In fact, yesterday, one of my matter was dismissed and held that misconduct because of adultery and the, uh, his dismissal. That's why, Miller, we say that a case to case examination is the only way out. A case to case examination but cannot be done in a clarification application without the parties. It's a totally different thing. Both of you, one point I mean. Both of you, counsel, are aware of that. Pain, deep pain that adultery creates in a family. We have we have held so many sessions as judges in the high courts, in habeas corpus jurisdiction, and we have seen how families are torn asunder with adultery. I mean, this is a thought you know we thought you know we should keep to ourselves, but we are just telling you, don't treat it in a in a very lighthearted manner. If you have experience. What happens in, in, in a family when adultery takes place? Families are broken. Completely broken. And children, I I, I, I don't, just I recall one incident. So the two children, mother committed adultery and she she filed a habeas corpus. She wanted to interact with the children. They came, they were 13 and 11, I think. They even refused to talk with their mother. I tried my level best. Such a, you know, uh, it really broke my heart on that day. That's a kind of rancor, that's a kind of hatred, the kind of, uh, you know, even violence as it happens. And it's Don't still a ground. That part, of it, you know, that part of it has been taken care of by Joseph Shine itself, and that has been retained as a ground for divorce, even in yes. Joseph Shine. That's right. You, know, you can't. We are concerned. Well, we are concerned. None of these sections you lost my idea appreciate is connected. That's in excess. Joseph Shine, that's not basic. My Lord, I have filed an application for placing certain important documents on record, my Lord. Let me answer on that. Yeah, number one, two, one, three, one, four, one. Let's see whether she is going to press the application. Otherwise, right. Right. Yes, yes, yes. We can give this. Lost me kindly fix a date for that. This is a small matter. It doesn't. It shouldn't. Take. No, it won't take very long. We can have it on the 16th, where we have put that matter. Lost matter that is. 16th of uh, your lordship is intending it. No? 6th of December, the line here. All right. Very well. Yes, 6th of December. Yes. Would, would my lord just, I, I would just including me the question of maintainability your lord should make here on that lord if the uh, if the sender is not withdrawing yes. because we have serious issues with respect to its maintainability a review petition was earlier dismissed it it comes you know, after the dismissal of the review petition i am only concerned with let the us, let us see, let us see. i would just request uh, uh, them to supply uh, just to provide us with the orders with afp because i to my the rest of my no request why do we the court's order for that yes. Obliged. Obliged. Great.